Welcome to my finals match of the VDL. This week, the Indianapolis Infernapes are taking on Achilles, coach of the Sutopolis Sableyes. I want to start this off by saying I am sick, so I might sound a little nasally. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully I get better soon. That's that's about that. Achilles took over for Toad uh, right before playoffs. He had to drop out, just got a little too busy. And so they have the same team, though, just because it was so close to playoffs. We didn't want the teams changing up too much. So they agreed to keep the same team. So let's take a look at their team, my team, and we'll get into the battle. So their team consists of Dragonite, Hisuian Samurott, Iron Moth, Sylveon, King Gambit, Galarian Zapdos, Serena, Quagsire, Knacklestack, Chargebug, and Sableye with Quagsire being Terra Water Poison Fairy and Knacklestack with Rock Water Fairy. We're starting off with a Choice Scarf Iron Bundle. I went with Choice Scarf over a Booster Energy just because I want to be able to bring this thing in and out multiple times to do a lot of damage. I'm able to outspeed his entire team. Mainly, the two that I was worried about were a Booster Speed Iron Moth and a Choice Scarf Galarian Zapdos. So I'm sure to outspeed both of those, and I am able to run Modest Nature as well to do more damage. Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Ice Beam, U-Turn, because Quagsire possibly could have Water Absorb, even though it probably will be unaware. Bringing the exact same Annihilate set as last time, Covert Cloak to ignore Salt Cure from the Knackle Stack, Max HP, enough speed to outspeed Max Speed Sylveon, and then the rest just goes into Spadef. Bulk Up, Drain Punch, Rage Fist, Rest. This sits on Quagsire very well. Uh, we saw that last time if you watched that battle. Uh, I was able to pretty much stall it out of recovers with this, so I'm hoping that I can do something similar because I definitely expect Quagsire to come. It has a really good matchup into me this week. Colossal is my main answer to a lot of the physical threats, uh, mainly Galarian Zapdos, but it also takes on King Gambit as well as Susuian Samurott. Willow is to burn all of those physical threats. Spikes, because hazards are just always good. Uh, Serena, I believe, is the only form of hazard removal on the team as well. So if that does not come, those aren't getting cleared off. Rapid Spin, because Hisui and Samurott sets up Spike so easily against me. And then Protect is just to scout intentions. I had Flamethrower last time, but it really isn't the most useful against his team. A lot of resists, so I figured just scouting moves would be a lot better. Bring in Assault Vest, Hisui, and Gudra again. This pretty much walls Iron Moth and Sylveon, even if they're both choice specs. Heavy Slam hits the Sylveon very hard. Earthquake does good damage to not only Knackle Stack, but Iron Moth. Knockoff is to remove items, and then Body Press, since I have max defense, does a lot of damage to things like King Gambit. Comfey is making its debut finally in the finals. Leftovers with Triage to get priority on my Draining Kiss. Stored Power is so that I can call Mind up past, um, Quagsire, since it's unaware, it ignores the special attack and special defense boost, but sword power gets stronger every time, and that does not, unaware does not stop that. So this is able to break through that. Call Mind, obviously, want to set up, and then substitute to block any statuses or salt cure from Knackle Stack. Finally, bring in Doc's Bun. Body Press hits super hard since I have a ton of defense on this. Play Rough is specifically for Sableye, and then Wish Protect is just to heal up the team. If you enjoy, be sure to drop a like and wish me luck. This is uh, my second finals in a row for like leagues that I've been in, and I'm really hoping that I can uh, finally win this one, so stay tuned. Here we are with the battle. My opponent brings Sableye, Dragonite, Zapdos, Sylveon, Iron Moth, and King Gambit. I'm really shocked to see no Quagsire or no Knackle Stack. But we're going to get right into this. We're going to lead, I think, Colossal here for my Terra Water and either set up a spike immediately since they have no form of hazard removal or just protect depending on what leads. So we're going to go Colossal here. I think that just looks overall the best. Iron Bundle looks really good in this matchup as well. Um, same with Comfey as soon as I remove Iron Moth and get a little bit of damage off on that King Gambit. All right, they lead with Sableye. And I don't really want to get burned here. Like, it doesn't really matter whether I do or not. But if I Terra, like, that's a possibility. He could also just Taunt. That is something as well. I'm going to Protect. Just see what he wants to do here. Because if he Taunts, I don't want to start spiking. Because that just wastes my time. So, okay. We will, um... I guess we just switch out because I can't do anything to this. I can't attack it. So, we'll go out into Docspun here. We have Play Rough for this. He'll Taunt me. Not a big deal. We'll just click Play Rough here. If he goes out into Iron Moth, we will go out into Gudra. He's just going to set up screens. That's fine. We're weakening the Sableye here. Perfect. And he probably re recovers here. No, he switches. All right. We'll break the multi-scale on this Dragonite here. It is weakness policy. 
That's fun. Okay, um, if it dragon dances, I still don't die with bundle, and I outspeed. So I'm gonna just hard switch into bundle here. I assume that this thing wants to get a dragon dance off. Perfect. So I still outspeed this here, and ice beam KOs. Good thing I broke that multi-scale. If I would have missed, we would be in a much different position. And if he's max HP, I have a 50% chance to KO here, even with the light screen. All right, and we knock out the Dragonite, so we get that huge threat out of the way immediately. Really glad I brought Choice Scarf Bundle there. Wow. Whew, that could have been bad. But, like I said, even a plus three uh, E-Speed wouldn't have killed me there. So, all right, we see the Demon King Gambit hit the field. We're going to go right out into Colossal here. All right. This is fun. We're going to immediately just Will-O-Wisp. Or maybe get a burn from Flame Body. Neither. Ugh, that is not fun. All right, we're going to try to set up a spike here. Maybe we'll get a flame body on this one. Oh, that is that is unfortunate. But, ooh, no, Sucker Punch kills Annihilate. I can go out into Gudra here. I think, really, that's the only play I can make. Everything else is going to die. Or I can go Dock Spun. I live a Sucker Punch. I hit it with Body Press. I, yeah, I, I think I have to do that. I need Gudra's health for Sylveon and Iron Moth. So we're going to go here, and we're going to Body Press. This thing is so scary. Okay, we get a huge chunk. I assume they iron head here. All right, they knock me out. And now I just need something that lives Sucker Punch, which would be Comfey. Comfey lives and can just KO with Draining Kiss. So we have to make that play. And this is a max HP Gambit. Well, like the, the Calc is for max HP. So Draining Kiss should kill here. And we know they're not Assault Vest. Okay, that did 14%. So that is max HP. Now, if I call Mind on this, like, can I stall this out here we're gonna try it we're gonna go for it that's choice specs i think to be able to do that kind of damage so it's max hp max special attack it looks like so i can live another one if i call mind here so we're gonna do that crit okay alrighty. that's all right it happens we're gonna heavy slam here this isn't looking good i mean i got three demons left still luckily but okay i can take a choice scarf close combat here but i have annihilate as well so i think he has to fear me going into that so i'm gonna just heavy slam again i'm like a brave bird here i can't like try i, I don't know i'm in a bad position here you know so i have to just make plays damn that crit sucks on Comfey. Debut game. Just get shit on. Okay, they double out there, so we're gonna knock out the Sableye. So no more screens. That's good. Because that gives me a chance still here. Bundle is in a really good position. Like, Bundle can win this still. Okay. This comes back out. Do I make the play to Annihilate now? I'm gonna do it. Whew, okay. Okay, okay. It ain't over yet. What do I want to do now? Because Sylveon is still a threat. I'm gonna double back. Don't close combat again. He bravered. He's not choiced. Okay. But I got a GUI off, which isn't good, because now it's boosted in attack. So, we're going to sack Annihilate here, and we're going to try to get Bundle in. Okay. We're just going to Rage Fist. Gambit came out. Okay. All right, we'll just knock this out with a Drain Punch then. This is getting interesting. This is a weird end game. I, uh, I can still win this for sure, but it's, <laughs> it's interesting. I got to keep Gudra healthy, which it's still in a decent spot. So, and I really just need to weaken Sylveon for Bundle to be able to KO it with Hydro Pump, like a 2 a KO. That's really what I'm just looking for here. Okay, if I, this is probably faster than me, right? Cool. Agility. That's not good. I want to double into Gudra and then go back out into this so it dies of recoil. That's what I want to do, but I don't know if that's the best play because Gudra needs its health. Okay, that died to recoil there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go out into bundle here because if Moth comes out, I Hydro Pump. If Sylveon comes out, I U-Turn. Okay, Sylveon comes out. So we're U-Turning here out into Gudra. All right, don't crit me here. Just don't do it. Okay, they go Iron Moth. I live this hit. I eat that hit. And now it just comes down to Sylveon. Because I die to a Hyper Voice. And we go Bundle here. And it KOs me. Damn. I lost. I have to freeze. No! 
Oh, all the way to finals just to lose it again, man. That's twice in a row. That's so unfortunate. But it was a close game. Um, there were crits back and forth, so I can't complain too much there. Very good game to my opponent, Achilles. Um, they stepped in for Toad late in the season, so I really appreciate them, and it's really cool to see them win it. And yeah, I mean, that's about all I have to say. If you enjoy, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace.